Mark, would you rather have Kirk or Jimmy G? I'd rather have Jimmy G. By the way, you have to look at who Jimmy G was taken, in, um, you know, instead of, instead of um, like, which quarterbacks was he taken? Bill Belichick wanted Jimmy G. Tom Brady had to do an end around Bill Belichick and the Patriot way, which always suited him until it didn't suit him anymore. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be out of there and, and leave them with nothing because Belichick saw Garoppolo said he. He's the guy. Had a million backup quarterbacks in Tom Brady's run. A lot of them looked like they would be promising. Would have, but no, he said, nope, Jimmy G is the guy I want. Going to get rid of Tom Brady. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Then Shanahan takes over in uh, San Francisco. Kirk Cousins was available. They looked at Jimmy G and said, nope. You don't have to give up a second round pick for Kirk Cousins, just give him the money. They said, nope, we're gonna give up a second round pick for that guy. And we're gonna give him the money. More money than Kirk Cousins got, mm -hmm. by the way. And what happened? He was three and one. Sorry, he was two and oh with the Patriots. He was five and oh for a San Francisco team that could not win. One of the worst teams in the league until he started at quarterback. They won five games. Then he got hurt. They were awful. Then he comes back, and they're the best team in the NFC. So forget about the stats, which are respectable for Jimmy G. He's won big games this year, close games with good decisions and excellent throws, and he's the guy that Belichick wanted and Shanahan wanted instead of Tom Brady and Kirk Cousins, the guys we're, guy we're comparing him to. And he's the guy whose team practically can't lose when he plays and can't win when he doesn't. <laughs> Jimmy G is my answer, and I, and, and I don't have to think that hard about it. I don't view the San Francisco 49ers as being in that light because of the multitude of personnel that surrounds Jimmy G. Um, in a rare, rare occasion, I have to go with Kirk Cousins. And I have to go with Kirk Cousins because I think Kirk, Kirk Cousins is a an entirely different player when Dalvin Cook is on the field with him. With Dalvin Cook running the football, Kirk Cousins plays better football. Thielen looks better with Dalvin Cook on the field. Stephon Diggs looks better with, Dal with Dalvin Cook on the field. Kyle Rudolph looks better with Dalvin Cook on the field. Kirk Cousins looks better with Dalvin Cook on the field. And the defense looks better because you engage in ball control, you move the change, you keep opposing offenses off the field, etc. And listen, I'm not picking Minnesota to win this game, don't get me wrong, because I just have so much respect for, for San Francisco. I love Debo Samuels. I love Emmanuel Sanders and what they've looked like since they've acquired him. I am a huge George Kittle fan. All right? I think he and Travis Kelsey are the two best tight ends in football. There is no question about it in my mind. Those brothers are studs. Mad love for both of them. But I love me some Debo Samuels. And then when you take into account Kyle Shanahan's play calling, and then you look at this defense and their ability to get at the quarterback to defend in the secondary, there are so many components with the 49ers that you have to point to before you even get to Jimmy G. Whereas with Minnesota, it's really about Dalvin Cook. And then you go to Kirk Cousins. With Jimmy G, there's about four levels before you get to Jimmy G. And that's why I say that combined with the fact that he's got that proverbial monkey off his back, winning a playoff game last week on the road in New Orleans against Drew Brees, I think all of that, and then Thielen being back and looking better than he's looked in like two, three months. Stephon Diggs is still there. Kyle Rudolph is still there. Remember, a couple of years ago, we were talking about Kyle Rudolph being a stud at the tight end spot, and he won the game when he caught the game winner. So you look at all of these different things for Minnesota. I'm not saying they're going to win this game because I think San Francisco is a complete team, but I do believe that Kirk Cousins is a more important component to Minnesota and more valuable then Jimmy G is to San Francisco at this particular juncture. Well, Kirk Cousins has more weapons. You're right about I Dallas. About I, I, I do. I, I don't think know so. about I think that. I, when you look at Minnesota uh, offense, it's an embarrassment of riches. Hold on, let, let, let's go. Let's go to go it. Ahead. Debo Samuel and Emmanuel Sanders versus, versus Stephon Diggs and the Thielen we've seen two months prior to last I weekend. Think, yeah, but but I think Thielen is now healthy. Okay. And, and if you have Thielen and Diggs, I'm taking them okay. clearly. I'm uh, taking uh, them. George Kittle or Kyle Rudolph. George Kittle, obviously. All right, and then you got Dalvin Cook. Yeah, yeah. and you got Dalvin yeah. Cook. I yeah. mean, like, Kirk yeah. Cutler, yeah. this is what I've always thought about Kirk mm -hmm. Cousins. 
he wouldn't stop a team from winning a Super Bowl necessarily as long as he could got to get over the choking problem. He had a choking problem. He's now, I'm not going to say, mm -hmm. oh, that's over, but he came through under pressure. That's very promising. Let's say he can remain the same as always under pressure and he doesn't choke. I don't think he'll stop a team from winning a Super Bowl if he's super talented, right, okay. around him. Okay. But he never seemed to me the kind of guy who could elevate a team when they need him most, maybe without all the weapons. Jimmy Garoppolo seems to me to be just that kind of guy. I don't see Not that, with the yeah. numbers, but with the kind – like, in that moment of truth, will he make the good decision or the bad decision, the good play or the bad play? He is a come-through kind of quarterback to me. That's the feeling I get from him. And clearly, that's the feeling that Bill Belichick and, and, and Kyle Shanahan have gotten about him. And those are the results he's produced on the field. They win. When he's in, they win all the time. Well, listen, I think that let, – let, well, okay, fine. I mean, how do you feel about Mike Zimmer? Because even though we all know Mike Zimmer to be a pretty damn good coach, we've never talked about him in the light that we've talked about Bill Belichick and to a lesser degree Kyle Shanahan. Well, that is what Jimmy G has had to work with. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I'm just saying to myself, again, you look at the defense that, they, that, that, that he's got behind him, you look at the multitude of weapons everywhere you turn. I mean, you just look at these guys. I, I, I mean, their running game is stout as well when healthy. I didn't even bring those guys up. I'm just looking at San Francisco right now, and I think it's an embarrassment of riches. I well, really do. Well, well, I mean, as an overall team, they're better. Part of that has to do with the quarterback they have, by the way. I mean, he was – listen, even you look up QBR for the season, they're neck and neck. Garoppolo's a 59, Kirk Cousins a 58-7. So in terms of the measurables and the stats, they look very similar. Why do you think the brightest minds consistently – preferred Garoppolo why is it that only now are we saying and he needed an all-world running back to be healthy with the play action and everything else in order for us to now say oh he's gotten over the the yips it, under pressure with Kirk Cousins whereas Garoppolo just wins and without him they just lose they have him the Niners are going to beat the Vikings because of that Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.